Oh, welcome back, Planet Zoo Adventurers here to UK theme parks as we continue to build our ultimate sandbox zoo. Now fresh on the hills of our new zebra and giraffe enclosure, which you can see on the left-hand side now, we are going to build another enclosure. And this one is going to be for a new animal. This is going to be for the Akapi. Now, following on from the circular one we did on there, we did say there is a, a direct way in which you can do circular buildings, and then there is kind of the unofficial way you can do circular buildings. So on the last one, we did the circular buildings uh, by copying piece by piece. On this one, we're gonna copy several pieces at a time and actually twist it. So for those that don't know, when you've actually built the actual uh, kind of one side, so what we're building here is this one side, which you see us doing now. So. Before we got to that, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to build this with quite a lot of detail because where this is going to be duplicated all the way around, once this one detail bit is built, um, that's all of it. That's absolutely everything, and that's all we'll need. So we'll get this bit right. We'll copy it round. Hopefully, the enclosure will be big enough. With the enclosure being big enough, then we can have it as a hard shelter area for our acarpies. Now, the acarpies themselves do like to be... Um, they do like to be in a forestry kind of area, quite dense forest as well. Uh, they're quite solitary animals, they do get scared about things, so I'm hoping we can really fill this one uh, with quite a few trees and make it sort of look hidden away, uh, where perhaps some of the other enclosures we built recently have had and needed to be quite open because of the animal type. So the detail we include on this one is going to go right the way to the roof, right the way over, and then hopefully when we do the circular motion, um, it's going to look different, it's going to look really, really nice. That's certainly the plan anyway. Now we really aren't an expert at this, uh, but we are literally playing the game as you're seeing it um, and uh, we're recording it as we go, but you know we are trying really hard to make something really nice out of this. I don't think the uh, people seem to prefer the um, uh, scenery on here to what they have on Planet Coaster. I think I prefer the scenery on Planet Coaster and I think it gives more options to do sort of out of the box stuff. Uh, we have seen some really good examples of YouTube of people doing movie theme ones and, and bits like that, but I think where the scenery is so limited, it just seems to take quite a long time to do it. But on this one, you know, we're going to keep it very animal style, very sort of African style, uh, very sort of wood. Uh, obviously had a bit of glass in as well for uh, viewing purposes. And yeah, make this kind of look, um, you know, really, really special. That's, that's the plan anyway. So here is our side, this is our completed side. If you highlight the side and hit duplicate within the same edit barrier, you can then turn that piece around to meet in the middle. So that will give you two sides, that's it, two small sides. Now then, if you exit the building structure and then click on it to highlight it, this will highlight both pieces. This will highlight left and right piece um, to what you see on the screen. From this point, if you hold control and press X, this will duplicate in the same position, the same piece. So it will duplicate both sides, and at this point, then you will get the um, you'll get the little angle tool up with the angle tool. If you press that again, it will only give you the option to move it around in a circle. So you can then use the little tool, move it around in a circle like we've done there, and start building your kind of a circle uh, enclosure as we have done. Now, as we saw at the end there, it might not fit. It might not go in a perfect circle depending on how you built it. So you might need to adjust some of the pieces. But again, these are all individual uh, kind of left and right sides. So it's really, really easy to move them. You highlight one, it will highlight the back bit and it will move it all around gradually as we've done there. And it's a great way of doing it. Now with the giraffe house, we didn't want to do that. We really wanted to see how difficult it was to do it individually. And I can tell you, it's quite difficult. This is a much, much easier way of doing it. Um, even the overlapping at the top uh, forms quite nicely. Obviously with the giraffe house, we made it so there was no overlapping and then we've put a separate roof on the top. This is one lovely enclosed building as you see there. Um, and of course we can go back now. So what we'll do now is we'll build like an entrance because we want people to be able to walk through this much like they do the giraffe enclosure. And we will build some rocks up the side and then we will build an entrance so people can go in. So we have to remove some of the bits and pieces which isn't too much of a problem. We've got to make this path a little bit wider given the last path. And then we're going to go straight back out the other side and then going out the other side, head over to the elephant area. So if you're on the high part here, you'll go straight through to the elephants. And if you're on the low part, you're going to go straight through to the elephants. We are pretty much going right the way through the center of this uh, because there's enough space. There's enough space there to uh, do so. There's enough height room. Uh, they're not particularly big, the Akapis, to be honest with you. So they'll be able to get in there. We're going to put some shelter in as you'd expect. And yeah, that'll be their enclosure and you'll be able to get a really, really close view of them. We'll sort out the terrain now and finish building off the enclosure. And yeah, 
Enjoy. We'll come back to you shortly. So what you've seen there is us finish off the Akapi exhibit. Uh, that's the main part done inside. So we've obviously landscaped it. We've made sure we've got the right trees. We do say it's really, really important. We see some lovely creations online, knowing that they don't have the right, the right foliage in there for the animal there. And although it might look good, you know, it's, it's in our eyes, not realistic. So it is something that we are really, really hot on making sure we have the right stuff inside the enclosure and that the animals are 100% happy because at the end of the day once we finish this zoo the idea is we make it profitable that's that's certainly the plan we know it's not the moment because we are continuously building but we want to make it profitable now we're gonna have a little entrance area kind of log cabin look entrance to the Akapis um, and it, it's not really gonna be anything special in there it will just help hide the walkways up to the Akapi area and of course we will probably put a shop in there and something and we will make sure that it's got some uh, foliage going around as well. And once we've done this we do actually want to, um, we want to have a slightly different 
barrier sort of fence around the edge. So we are going to go for individual logs um, to get them at different sizes. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's the next plan, and that'll take quite a while to do, but I think it's going to look really nice. And you know, it, we are, as we said, trying with this to make it look nice as we go. Again, you know, once the park is done, and I really can't envisage at the moment the park being done. It will be a case of very much of us going back and looking over areas and see if we can improve them and really spend some time um, doing them. Although we're not rushing at the moment, it definitely feels like there's more pressure to get more animals in and make the zoo bigger than what there is to kind of redevelop necessarily what's there. You won't see it, but at the end of this episode, uh, we will have removed the safari drive as well. The old safari area, of course, the monorail have gone. Um, but the old safari animals will also be gone and that area will be completely um, kind of flattened for future development. We're going to call it future development. At the moment, um, this is the last bit we're going to do in the African area before moving on to another area. Uh, I think we've done quite a good job actually. We've brought some new animals in, in addition uh, to kind of revamping the ones that were there. And this is of course what you can see here is the log. Uh, the log parts we're putting in. Around here we're going to put the normal fencing, this will help people um, kind of distinguish between the two areas, between the giraffes and the zebras, then over to the Akaki house. There we go, and we'll bring those up to there. But yeah, we're going to be moving on. So for those that don't know, there's an expansion pack come out for the game. Uh, the expansion pack is sort of an ice pack. It's a bit of a mixed review, to be honest, because uh, even I'm a bit like, well, the game's only been out six weeks, why, have we, why are we paying for content already? But I do really want the polar bears. I do really want the polar bears. Um, not really that bothered about the rest of them, honestly, but I do really want the polar bears. So we are going to build an ice exhibit over the other side of the park behind the Japanese area. Um, the bit in front, sort of in the middle, will be sort of a general um, planet zoo area, which will probably have North American animals in most likely the European animals and of course we have to get around to some point to build in um, you know monkey houses, gorilla islands and things like that uh, although we have our Japanese ones in we do want to um, we do want to expand that and kind of have a, a monkey only area uh, which is you know we've got some ideas from the enclosures it's definitely something that we are going to be doing but it does take time it does take time to do I think the ice adventure is next. Um, the ice is definitely uh, relevant at the moment. It is winter. Uh, it is cold outside at the moment. Although we haven't had any snow, it is cold outside at the moment. But watch this space. I reckon we'll get some probably for when the theme park seasons are due to open because that's usually the case. You'll also see in that that we're going to build a transport ride over there as well because possibly our path infrastructure hasn't been the best. We're going to have to make some movements and we're going to have to make sure um, that it's easy access for our staff. So quite a lot of work to do to implement the new kind of Alaskan area, but it's next on the um, next on the agenda. We're gonna pop a roof now on this Akapi bit, much similar to what we put on the giraffe house, just sticking it over the top to make sure that people have shelter while they're going in to see the Akapi. You get quite a lot of rain and snow actually in the uh, European uh, climate and uh, people definitely want to run for cover rather than just buy an umbrella. Let me know what you think. What do you think of our new Akapi attraction here? It's fitted in really nicely. Actually, I'm really pleased of how it's fitted into the park. Uh, we have got an idea as to why we built a bridge over here, which you see on the right-hand side now, which will come to fruition very, very soon. But Alaskan area is next. Um, ice area. Oh yeah, it's gonna bring some challenges, it's gonna bring some train challenges, and it's gonna bring some uh, cooler challenges as well. But can't wait for it. That is on the next episode. And I don't think we'll start with the polar bears either. But wait and see. Make sure you join us next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Obviously, we have some game content over the close season, but it's not that long now until the rides begin to flow again. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.